Hi everyone, uh, welcome to the workshop video. So in this workshop, we were looking at a intelligent process automation robot IPA bot for automated parcel status inquiry. So we'll be building a software robot which uh, sits in a messaging chat app called WeChat and it can automatically uh, help us to inquiry the status of the parcel. So here is the GitHub uh, link where you can find the source code. Okay, so you can open a browser. This is the ISSVM, a virtual machine, uh, Ubuntu virtual machine. So we can look at this is source code. Okay, we'll be looking at this uh, IPython notebook. Okay. Later, I will update the video link so you will see this video. Yeah, okay, and the main repository is this SIPA workshop. SIPA workshop. So, for you, what you can do is you can click either download zip or you can clone it using git bash. Git bash. Okay, so let's do this. Let's, uh, I have already downloaded it uh, into this place a shared folder git repository uh, ipa workshop and workshop 2 web parcel bot python wechat so this is ipython notebook so we'll be opening this one so in issvm we start the jupyter notebook from the desktop so we'll start from desktop There's also a few folders. You have the results folder, you have a resource folder, you have reference folder, reference folder. Results folder. Okay, so results you uh, in the results folder later you will see that uh, uh, parcel status captured as uh, screenshots will be saved in this location. Okay, so my Jupyter notebook is up now. So we go to the folder where the IPython notebook sits. IPA workshop. Workshop 2. Easy the one. So let's make a copy of it. Let's make a copy. Okay. Let's make a copy of it. Duplicate. Okay, so open. So we keep a clean copy. That's my habit. Okay, this is Jupyter notebook. So let me update the video here. So this is the workshop to develop and use an intelligent agent uh, chatbot for automated uh, parcel status inquiry. So this is the IPA bot. It can take in request when another user uh, send a parcel ID, then the robot will acknowledge the, the parcel ID and then do the process automation to inquire the website, uh, the parcel and the delivery company's website to find what is the status of this parcel. Okay, so this is a screenshot of it. So first we will be using a few packages, date, time, and IT chat. IT chat is the uh, API library for using the chatbox functionality. And we also import the tag UI of Python version, and uh, that is a process automation. So here is a key thing that we create a function to inquire the path uh, by using the uh, tag UI uh, automation capability. So the input is the parcel ID. It's a type of string. So it's here. Uh, the input is the parcel ID. Then it returns the file name of the screenshot which is uh, captured uh, the parcel status from the website. So it reading. Then it creates an output file. The file name is stored in the results folder with a timestamp. Uh, parcel ID timestamp 
and the PNG. So this will be saved as a PNG file. As you can see, the last three is a PNG, not a PNG. Okay, uh, now next, it goes to this website. Uh, append the parcel ID. Then wait for some time. Then uh, type the keyboard and go to the end, end of this uh, web page. Then it uh, captures the screen, uh, capture the screen, take the picture and save into this uh, file name. Then they close it, then re they will return this file name. Okay, let's have a look. So this is a function uh, called in quite password function. So we run it. So now we do an ad hoc test. We do an ad hoc test. So this ad hoc test will key in this parcel ID and send to uh, uh, and send to message name inquire password. Okay, so they will just do the process automation and save this screenshot. Okay, you can see that uh, the robot has started a web browser automatically. It goes to this website, uh, qexpress.co.nz. So that's a place to uh, inquire the status of the parcel. So it goes scroll down, scroll down, and scroll down. Scroll down, then take a picture of it and save it. So it's actually completed. So you see the file name is results, stored in results folder. and. Uh, uh, this is a parcel ID, the time step, uh, and the PNG file. You can actually find it here. So now a new file has been created. So let's open it. You can have a look. So this is the file. This is the file. Right? This is the file. So it captures the status of the current the package, which is DZ blah 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 then 81 NZ. So what is going? What is happening now? It says uh, clearance has been done it's a shipment from New Zealand to China okay so we close this image I'll close it okay we go back here now uh, we can integrate the parcel inquiry the backend uh, task robot uh, implement using tag UI and connected it to the chatbot from and chatbot uh, conversation interface so we will be using a uh, messaging app called WeChat so this is a logon so we we'll log on to WeChat using QR code so in my phone I have this app, app installed so I need to log on using the IPA boss uh, chatbot account so I'm going there then in discover there is this scan ah, scan so we scan this QR code on screen ah, so we'll be scanning it so this is scan so we'll scan the QR code on the screen on the screen we said please scan it and please uh, press confirm on your phone so on my phone there is a confirm ah, so confirm so confirm confirm login So time out, so we have to rescan it. It seems that time, time, time out has happened. Okay, we rescan it and press the login. Press the login, press the login. Once I press login, it will show that I have logged on to iChat for web. iChat for web. Login. Here, ah, here. iChat for web. iChat for web. So I have a friend called, I hate that. This is the IPA boss account. And uh, by hey, uh, it's me myself. So we have two accounts here: uh, my own account, by hey, and the uh, IPA bot account. IPA bot is now taken over by this Python script. So we can have a look. So this is an ad hoc test for the IPA bot to inquire a parcel status and send the the message to by hey, uh, to by. Hey. So from this account, you can see that this is IPA boss account, and uh, 
it has a he okay he has an account uh, a friend by him and he just sent IPA from IPA bot and they send the parcel status to by him so they see the parcel status so status so now let me switch to my own account this is my by his account this is my own account so i received a message i have just received a message from ipa bot and this ipa bot sent me a message that i'm showing here so this is the message the password status screenshot so yeah the functionality works fine the ad hoc functionality works fine okay now let's move on. Let's move on. So next is we define the interactive conversation in auto mode for the IPA bot to automatically taking requests and the send reply. So a few things is important here is uh, here is a message register. If the IPA bot receive any text, map, notes, and so on, it will actually acknowledge, save it, saying I have received. Uh, received and uh, if the message contains parcel or lowercase parcel in the message then it is a keyword for uh, IPA bot to be aware that is a request to uh, inquire the, a parcel status so it will remove the parcel or lowercase parcel space the remaining part it will be the Parcel ID. So it will use that remaining parcel ID to call this inquiry parcel function. And the inquiry parcel function will again return the save the message file. And then the chat bot, uh, IPA bot, will send the uh, parcel status image back to the requester. Back to the requester. That's the, uh, the function that works happening here then the remaining is download the file add friends uh, if anyone wants to add IPA bot as a friend then IPA bot will automatically uh, uh, accept the um, friend request then send an acknowledge uh, message say nice to meet you okay you can also do group chat so like uh, WhatsApp, it's, uh, you can create many groups, and as long as the chatbot uh, IP bot is in the group and it was at uh, a message to the chatbot, then the chatbot can react. Okay, so we'll run this uh, this code. Then next is it dot run. It chat dot run is to start the listening listening part. So now the IP bot has started uh, automatic reply. So, so IP about this now. So, uh, this is my account, uh, my own account. Then I have a friend, uh, IP bot. So I can now send a request to IP bot. So let's say I send a hi. I just send a hi. Hi, send a hi to IP bot. You can see on the screen it said I have received this uh, message hi and it also acknowledged that I received but this is not a um, password inquiry so now let's try a password inquiry password inquiry this is a message that password uh, blah 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 and then the password name let's change the password status to say 8 to 1 yeah and see so this is a request parcel space the parcel id so i click send click send click send you can see on the screen that the ip bot has received the request and started the parcel inquiry uh, automatic parcel inquiry Okay, as you can see, this is the uh, puzzle ID and the web link. Okay, okay I have checked. This is the latest status of the puzzle ID. It said the file has saved uh, into a local folder. 
and now you see that the message has returned ah, this message has returned let's open it and download the full image this is the password status that you can see for this particular uh, password, uh, password and uh, on the website uh, on the local file folder you will see this is the file being created so 14 12 22 and 15 it should be 14 hours not 14 hours so 14 22 and 50 so this is the file that actually they saved to the local folder local folder okay to see what is the process or what is the status of that password yeah so you can try yourself as long as the server is up the ipa is taken over by this script it can reply automatically and uh, what you need to do what you can do is scan this below QR code you know, using your own WeChat account then this IPA bot will automatically add you as a friend and after that you can send a message for them or password space this password ID to it to try out this function okay so once you're down you can log out say log out shift enter and you can start to run it but uh, after you're running this, uh, you need to click the kernel interrupt, interrupt it. Then uh, it will successfully log out. It says the no error message, return code zero, raw message, log out successful. So that is, so for you, uh, there will be some workshop enhancement. You can extend the password inquiry function to group chat when the IP bot is being added. You can also create a database or data frame CSV to bookkeeping for administration. Uh, uh, you can also process parcel inquiry for only eligible customers by referring to the database who sent which package, uh, who owns which package, instead of uh, uh, accepting any uh, message from all the uh, inquirer. Uh, so there will be some kind of credibility checking. Okay, uh, that's it. Thanks for watching this video. Uh, see you next time.